Hi everybody, I'm Jessie and oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Today is National Geek Day. So I thought for National Geek Day, I would do this really fun project with you guys to show off your favorite fandom. All right, so for this project, it's in two parts. And so for the first part, we are gonna create the background on our paper. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use some plastic wrap. And so I'm just gonna set my paper off to the side. And I want a piece of plastic wrap that is the same size as my paper. If it's a little bit big or a little too short, that's fine. Just try and get it to the best size as you can. Now comes the fun part. I'm gonna take my washable markers and I'm going to cover this. It doesn't have to be 100% covered and it doesn't have to be in any particular order. If you wanna do stripes, diagonals, checkered, totally up to you. I'm gonna go more of a tie-dye look. And so I've got all different colors of blue because I'm, my project is gonna be from Doctor Who. So I've got some TARDIS blue going on. And like I said, it's a little bit tie-dye, just gonna go ahead and color it. Now you guys may notice that the marker on top of the saran wrap isn't solid and that's okay because these are washable markers. Saran wrap is a type of plastic. It's not porous. So the ink in the marker, which is a liquid, is trying to be absorbed into the plastic and it's not working. And so it's just kind of sitting on top of the plastic and floating around. So very, very carefully, you're gonna take this and you're gonna put it ink side down on top of your piece of watercolor paper. And then go ahead and squish. Remember how I said that ink is just setting on top? Well, now it's attaching itself to the watercolor paper, which is porous and likes to absorb the ink. Got it all rubbed down? Sweet, go ahead and pick it up. And check out that really cool background. So we've got all different colors of blues on here. We're gonna give it just a couple minutes to dry while we work on the next section. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to cut out our stencil. And for this part, you might need adult supervision because you're gonna be working with an X-Acto knife that is super, super sharp. And I'd hate for you guys to hurt yourselves, okay? So once you figure out what fandom you're gonna do, go ahead and go online and find a representation of your fandom. I just found this free get, uh, free JPEG on the internet for Doctor Who. Went ahead and I printed it out on cardstock. It's a little bit thicker paper, so it's gonna make cutting a lot easier. All right, so there's two different ways you can make this stencil. The first way is you can cut out all the green and leave the black. If you do that, then what's gonna happen is when we paint, what you're gonna see in the bad wolf sign would be our background. I'm gonna do the opposite. I want my background seen, so I'm gonna come in and cut out all this black. Now, one thing to remember, when you're cutting out a stencil, you always have to make sure that all your pieces are connected. So for example, right here on this B, if I was to cut out just the black and then cut out this side of the black, all of a sudden my B just turns into a big blob. So I need to make sure that this green section and this green section is somehow connected to this one. So I've got my handy dandy silver Sharpie and I'm just gonna come in and draw some reference lines so I know when to stop and when to restart up my cuts so that I don't accidentally cut out a section that I need. Got this section of my A. Now this part is tricky. As you can see, this green right through here connects to the green out here, but this little green doesn't. And so for this to continue to stay a D, I have to cut out that little section. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take it and I'm just gonna draw my line right here to right there. So it doesn't have to be very big, okay? but it's still gonna give that D shape a D shape. And then the last one I need to do is my O. 
All right, now let's go ahead and cut. Again, please use adult supervision or adult help if you need it because the X-Acto knives are extremely sharp. All right, my stencil's all cut out. Go ahead and put your cutting mat and your X-Acto knife away because we're not gonna be needing it for the rest of the project. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna bring our paper back over with our really cool background. Gonna go ahead and set our stencil and figure out exactly right about where we want it. And I'm gonna put it right about there. Now, depending on what fandom you're doing will depend on what color paint. Since I'm doing Doctor Who, I'm gonna stick with my blue theme and I've got some dark blue. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour some of my dark blue paint onto my palette. And then using some sponge brushes, I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab some paint and dab. You don't wanna use strokes because you don't wanna move your stencil pieces because they are pretty fragile. So just go ahead and just dab it right on. All right, I'm all dabbed on. Are you guys ready for the big reveal? I know I am. Go ahead and let's lift. How cool is that? Oh, I'm so excited. That turned out amazing. I can't wait to see what you guys create. Hey, pop down below. Tell me what your favorite fandom is. I'd love to hear from you guys. Who's your favorite superhero? I know mine, I love Captain America, but I wanna hear about yours. So post some pictures of your amazing artwork and I'd love to hear all about your fandoms. So until next time guys, happy geek day, bye.